Check out how you can grind your Slayer tasks in style by using the same RGB LEDs that I use. Links in the description below. What's going on guys? In this video we're going to be talking about uh, how I do magic axes as a pure, but uh, you can really do this strategy with any account that has 43 or higher prayer. And if you don't, you can just do a more traditional strategy, strategy which would just be to bring food and uh, hopefully you have defense. And if you're one prayer, one defense pure, then this is a really hard task, but um, hopefully you have 43 prayer. And if you do, you can follow along with this guide. So basically my strategy is to AFK them because they are aggressive. You leave auto, auto retaliate on and you just leave uh, protect from melee on. Um, normally I would bring more than one dose, but since this is just a, an example, that's all I'm bringing. So uh, basically, if you're wondering how to get there, the easiest way is to start in Edgeville and you just use the lever, which is just south of the bank here, which I'll, I'll show you in a second, but I'm just going to go over some uh, kind of required items here. So um, for one, you probably won't even get assigned the task if you don't have 23 thieving, so you don't have to worry about that, but you do need a lockpick. Um, you just can't access them without it. Um, I recommend bringing some food because in case you get a mysterious emblem you want to be able to run back though this isn't necessary and oftentimes the wilderness is just like completely empty in that area uh, you'll want a weapon of your choosing I use a dragon scimitar uh, which also works well because it can cut the web you can also just bring a knife that you use like for fletching or whatever and then bring whatever other weapon you want um, I, I also suggest bringing a charged glory and you'll see why later, but basically um, we're just going to let ourselves die up there. And uh, even if you don't, well, let's see. So, I mean, my strategy is to let myself die, but even if you get a mysterious emblem and you teleport out, you're still going to want a glory to get back to Edgeville and it just like speeds up the process. Um, I also suggest, but um, is, uh, it's not required to have monk robes just to increase your prayer bonus. Uh, again, another suggested item is using a scimitar, just because that way you don't have to bring a knife and keep losing it. And the last suggested item is a char or a prayer pot with four doses. Um, that's just to extend your trips. You know, you could just bring one, but that would make your trip really short. And what I found, and you know, these are my stats, so that's how fast I kill them. I found that I can use about five doses of prayer potion before they lose aggro. So, you know, just for simplicity's sake, just start with bringing four doses and uh, you just sip on it when you need it and you just let your character do all the work. So, uh, I think that covers everything and uh, let's go over there and uh, look at the strategy in action. Once you get in, it really just, it's as simple as just turning on protect from melee and uh, letting your character do the work. All you have to do is, uh, again, well, like I said, this is an AFK strategy. You can be more active. You can bring like super, super sets and stuff if you want, and you'll kill them faster and bring extra prayer pots and you can just stay here for your whole task. Um, but I was just AFKing and this is how I do it. So you, I think it's 15 minutes of aggro. But uh, like I said, it took about um, four prayer doses before I uh, lost aggro, or four or five. So this is a strategy, um, as you can imagine, you just let this run for a while. And uh, let's let's say you do get a mysterious emblem. Uh, all you do is uh, just run back the way you came. Keep an eye out for PKers or Hellhounds if you're worried about those. Check for melee for a second. Just slash the web and when you when you pull that lever again it's just going to bring you to our doing and that's why we bring the charge glory because 
we don't want to well obviously not manually run all the way back to Edgefield that would be miserable um, I mean you can also just run to the bank in Ardoin but you need to it, it's recommended to bring a uh, amulet anyway to speed up your kills and everything so um, yeah that pretty much does it um, I think I covered everything if the guide helped you please give it a like and if you want more slayer guides and stuff like that uh, go ahead and subscribe and if you have any requests for uh, specific guides, go ahead and just let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Check out how you can upgrade your gaming setup with LEDs by using the link in the description below.